Toyota and Subaru tune their chassis setups independently, yet the 86 and the BRZ share similar updates and still drive pretty much identically. Toyota says its goal for 2017 was to sharpen initial turn in while providing a bit more compliance over rough stuff. To that end, the 86's front springs and dampers are slightly stiffer than before, while the rears are a little softer and are accompanied by a thicker anti-roll bar. There are stiffer mounting points for the strut tower brace, the transmission, and the rear dampers. At the track, our example posted a similar level of lateral adhesion, 0.89 grams, as previous BRZ and FRS test cars, along with a commendable 161 foot stop from 70 miles per hour. The 86's chassis is as entertaining as ever. Turn in response is indeed crisper ride quality is adequate for a small sports car, and the electrically assisted power steering is quick, 2.5 turns lock to lock, although it pales in feedback compared with the Mazda MX-5 Miata. But it's almost impossible to discern any significant improvement in the way the 86 handles compared with its previous Scion iteration. With its torsion limited slip differential and the compromised grip provided by the rubber, the 86's cornering attitude continues to teeter between safe understeer and power on oversteer. In other words, it still loves to drift, and a revised stability control system keeps the action in check while permitting a bit more tail out attitude before intervening. The setup's previous sport mode has been replaced by an even less intrusive track setting, and you can still deactivate the system altogether. Fitting higher performance summer tires would likely improve the 86's cornering limits and feel. While Toyota Racing Development offers a range of port and dealer installations.